Good evening, brothers and sisters. We are gathering for daily vespers on this Friday evening for a Memorial Saturday in commemoration for Pentecost. So uh, the focus for this evening is on the departed, and we will be celebrating a memorial service tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 uh, for newly reposed servants of God and those coming up on the anniversary of repose before we celebrate the feast itself. So thank you for joining us. Please pray together with us. God, call you, sin, and have mercy upon me. God, call you, sin, and have mercy upon me. God, call you, sin, and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King, and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King, and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment. Who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the wind your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deepest, with the garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom. You have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships of Leviathan, which you formed as fortunate. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up, and you open your hand. They are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth, and it trembles, who touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 
Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed and metropolitan key law companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priest of the Diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for to you are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. We offer you incense to Christ our God for all sweet spiritual fragrance. Receive it upon your heavenly altar and send honor upon us and return the grace of your Holy Spirit. In the sixth tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds in company with men who work iniquity, and let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike or rebuke me in kindness, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which one cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God, and you I seek refuge. Lead me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord. With my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me, no man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. Those who suffered martyrdom for you, O Christ, endured great torments. Preserve us by their prayers and intercessions, O Lord. 
For your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Your martyrs, O Lord, did not deny you, nor did they turn from your commandments. By their intercessions have mercy on us. For from the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. Your victorious martyrs, when they contended on this earth, endured great torments, but now they dwell in heaven, and have received a perfect crown, that they may offer intercession for our souls. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. O faithful, remembering today by name all the dead from all ages who have lived in piety and faith, let us sing praises to the Lord and Savior, asking him fervently to give them in the hour of judgment a good defense before our God who judges all the earth. May they receive a place at his right hand in joy. May they dwell in glory with the righteous and the saints, and be counted worthy of his heavenly kingdom. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. By your own blood, O Savior, you ransomed mortal men, and by your death you delivered us from bitter death granting us eternal life by your resurrection. Give rest then, O Lord, to all those who have fallen asleep in godliness, whether in the wilderness or the city, on sea or land and in every place, both princes, priests, and bishops, monks, and merry people of every age and line, and count them worthy of your heavenly kingdom. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Through your rising from the dead, O Christ, death rules no longer over those that die in faith. Therefore we pray fervently, give rest in your courts and in the bosom of Abraham, to those of your servants from Adam to this present day, who have worshipped you in purity, our fathers and brethren, friends and kin, all who in different ways have offered faithful service to you in this life, and now have gone to dwell with you, O God, and count them worthy of your heavenly kingdom. In the sixth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In tears and sorrow I contemplate death. I see our beauty created in God's image, laid in the grave without form or honor or comeliness. Great mystery and fearful and awaiting us. How have we been handed over to corruption? How has death been wedded to us? Truly as it is written, it is by the command of God who grants rest to the departed. In the same tone, the dogmatic, in who now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Who will not bless you, most holy virgin? Who will not sing of your most pure childbearing? The only begotten Son shone timelessly from the Father, but from you he was ineffably incarnate. God by nature, yet man for our sake, not two persons, but one known into natures. Entreat him, O pure and O blessed Lady, to have mercy on our souls. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we pray. 
Christ, our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God and giver of life. Therefore all the world glorify you. Wisdom, let us attend the evening prokemenonis in the sixth stone. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from evildoers and save me from violent men. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. See how they lie in wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine, O Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. But I will sing of your strength in the morning, I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. O my strength, I sing praise to you. You, O God, are my fortress, my loving God. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praise and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, aimless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God, to you, O Lord. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord, to you, O Lord. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. 
For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the sixth tone, your cross, O Lord. Your cross, O Lord, was an invincible weapon for the martyrs. They saw death before them, but looking to the life that is to come, they were strengthened by their hope in you. By their intercessions have mercy on us. Blessed are they whom you have chosen and taken, O Lord. You honored with your image that which you fashioned, O Savior. And in material form you depicted the likeness of the spiritual nature, of which you made me a partaker, and established me here to rule over the things of earth, O Word. Therefore, O Savior, grant rest to your servants in the land of the living, in the tabernacles of the righteous. Their memories from generation to generation, their souls shall dwell with the blessed. You planted a garden in Eden, adorned with diverse plants, that the value of my life might be distinguished from that of others. There you established me free of sorrows and care, as a partaker of your divine life, a creature of mingled nature on earth and equal to the angels. Therefore, O Savior, grant rest to your servants in the land of the living, in the tabernacles of the righteous. In the same tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your creating command was my origin and my foundation, for you will to fashion me as a living creature. From nature's visible and invisible, you made my body from the earth, and gave me a soul by your divine and my creating breath. Therefore, O Savior, grant rest to your servants in the land of the living, in the mansions of the righteous. In the same tone, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the prayers of her who bore you, O Christ, and of your martyrs, apostles, and prophets, of the holy hierarchs, monks, and righteous, and of all your saints, give rest to your servants who have fallen asleep. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for your name's sake, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. You, only Creator, who with wisdom, profound, mercifully order all things, and give to all that which is useful, give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants who have fallen asleep, for they have placed their trust in you, our Maker and Fashioner, and our God. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We have you as a wall in the heaven, and an intercessor well pleasing to God, whom you have borne, O Virgin Theotokos, the salvation of the faithful. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed metropolitan key convo, companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of our Holy House, for all our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially Matryoshka, Angela, Dorothy, and Victoria, and you hear and in all the world by asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those suffering for their Orthodox faith, all those lying on a bed of sickness and need of healing, especially the mighty Archpriest Michael, the Archpriest Constantine, the Priest John, Subdeacon Nectari, Montreshki, Cynthia Elizabeth, Delphi, Mara, Virginia, Anne, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Elaine, Maria, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, John, Maria, Stephen, Stacy, Anna, Catherine, Natalie, Catherine, Elena, Alexander, Lynn, Andalusia, Sandra, Harrison, Gabriella, Shirley, Natalie, Nona, Heidi, and John. And for the pardon and remission of their sins, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works and are holding our venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for the servant of God, the priest Stephen, on the anniversary of his ordination, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. With, uh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our crying, repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those preparing and distributing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Father bless. Christ our God the existing is blessed always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos save us. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May 
Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most dear mother, of our holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, of the holy apostle Jude, the brother of the Lord, and St. Paisius the Great, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, free is good, and loves mankind. Amen. So as we celebrate uh, Vespers tonight, uh, we pray for the priest Stephen, who was ordained on this uh, Saturday, uh, being a memorial Saturday before the Feast of Holy Pentecost by Stephen Gresh. So may God bless and grant him many years in his ministry. God bless and be with all of you. We will be gathering in church tomorrow for our memorial service at 4.30, followed by Vespers at 5. God bless and be with you.